Alright, welcome back y'all to another Dark Souls video. We literally are going to pick up right where we left off after beating Pontiff. Um, from here, we are Embered. Regardless of if you Embered or not, you will be Embered for defeating the boss. There is probably one thing we're going to do for sort or side quests. Uh, once you hit the halfway point, there's not a lot to do for side quests. Most of it is just kind of wrapping things up. Uh, we're going to finish Henri's quest, we're going to finish Yuria's quest, and I think that's literally about it. Like, there's not much else to do here. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to loot, but... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, don't go away. Beautiful. Two Twinkling Titanites. Uh, from here, we will most likely get invaded, and you will most likely see me get wrecked by an online player. I do not like the PvP. I <laughs> cannot express how much I dislike the PvP in this game. Like, I know it's got its place, I know people like it, and I watch online YouTubers who do it, and it's entertaining and it's great. It's not me. It's just <laughs> not me. Uh, that's why I am going to be doing a lot of sprinting in this area. Let me... Whoop! Oh, I thought there was going to be a soul spear coming my way, but uh, we're going to do one thing real quick. Ah, oh, I didn't expect that third one. Um, okay, so I just wanted to show you guys ooh -wee, this entire area. This is all unnecessary area. You can beat this game ten times over, which sadly I did and never experienced this area. There's a mimic chest right here, so I will go and use my Normal rested coin, because there's only one. But the next one I face, I will use to... Oh, I didn't equip my gold serpent ring. Let me get him down to, like, one health. Ooh, wee! Okay. So I'm going to go equip as I'm sprinting. See, I just equipped it. Wow, he still can't hit me. This is... These guys are pretty weak, y'all. Like... <laughs> Please give it to me, please. <laughs> oh my god. This game will not let me have it. This game will not let me have it. That's so sad. Okay. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. I will show you the gold ritual spear. Uh, sorceries cast using this weapon. Channel the wielder's faith. So it's, it's boosted off faith. If you have high faith, this is a good spear to use. Uh... I personally don't recommend it if you're going to ask me, but it's good to have. If you're a faith build user and you want to be a little spicy, you can use that. But, kill you. Wow, they're two hits now. Simple gem. You're, honestly, I don't think I've ever in the 500 hours I've played this game used a simple gem. But if you want to know what it is... It's simple weapons inflict magic damage and restore FP very gradually. So it's kind of like the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The blessed gem. So instead of regaining, uh, or killing the skeletons and regaining health slowly, you regain FP slowly. I don't think that's really a good boost, in my opinion. I'm sure people can make use of it. Don't think that I'm undermining it by any means. I just. It does not help me. Hey! Knock it off. I just need to kill him. Backstab? Backstab! Backstabs are important for invincibility frames. You do not want to do what I'm doing right now and fight every enemy. The only reason I'm doing it is to show you guys that, like where all the enemy spawns are. They have a low chance of dropping a uh, covenant item for this area. I'm not trying to get that by any means. I mean, if I'm going to kill him, I'm going to check the body to loot, but... You will get invaded. You will most likely get invaded. The fact that I have not gotten invaded yet, I'm jinxing myself. Oh, dodge! Oh. I was one second too short. Oh, I can't homeward bone. I don't know if that means I'm being invaded or if these guys get rid of that, but I think I'm being invaded. If you don't see an invasion in the next 10 seconds, then I'm not being invaded. 
but it's not letting me homeward bone, which usually means that you're being invaded by an online player. So you're gonna see me run past really fast. You're gonna have these archers shooting at you. You're going to easily, right here, you just dodge to the right. They'll stop shooting at you. You'll grab these ashes, which will help you get more armor and whatnot through the handmaiden. Still not letting, yep, there it is. See, I told you, I'm being invaded. I knew it. I didn't want to accept it, but I'm being invaded. Um, I will most likely die because there are so many enemies. Yep, there he is. He was waiting for me. Oh, yep. And he's going to take advantage of the fact that I'm yep, being attacked by other things. It's a sad truth of this game. Only hit twice. Oh, that's why. Yes! Come on. Yes! Oh, get down, buddy. Sorry, we point down at invaders. I know, you want to do your quest and all that. And yes, that's an invisible wall. I'm going to start this right now because you can still get invaded. I hate being in, I hate going to Anorlando. It's my favorite spot besides the Erythril of the Boreal Valley, but... We're going to run back now. Now that we've got done with that invader, as you can see, my homeward bone is available now. It's like white. It's not like this, where if I were to click on it, it makes this sound. If you get invaded, you can't teleport out. You can't even quit your game. If you were to go over here and go to quit game, it will be darked out. They love to troll you. Why is he not here? Oh, I need to go speak to... Okay, okay. There's one more thing I need to do before I do this. Don't worry, I will continue on i'm gonna have to call that elevator again it'll take a little longer but if you haven't gotten invaded or you did get invaded and you know they're like right here waiting for you they always wait for you at that lift because they know people are just trying to run through a Orlando. that's why i always point down towards those invaders we still need to fight those two guys i want to loot this area but honestly if you just rush straight over here just fall down don't worry you won't die unless you're really low in health you are now over here where you opened up that elevator for the very beginning and you killed all these guys. Now you can just run straight through here. So in case you get, you will get invaded almost every single time you ember up. Uh, you just, if you were to open up this like I did, you can rush straight towards the boss door. So if you get invaded, they most likely won't even catch up to you. Don't say that they won't catch up to you because people are, this is probably the highest PVP spot, maybe the second one. It's really close, but uh, you do want to go down there if you're doing the Yuria side quest and the bad Henri side quest or good, however you want to look at it in the long run. But if you did not kill the assassin, like I didn't, even though I wanted to originally, I didn't, uh, you're going to go up here. This is Dark Souls 1 right here. 71,000 cities, holy cow. Okay, we're going to start that. Going all the way over here. And we're going to light this fire. And we're going to go back to Firelink Shrine really quick. There was one thing I missed. I should have told you guys. My apologies. But, yeah, yeah. Hey, I should have shown you guys that too. Those little symbols right next to the bonfires. If you see a little symbol next to it, that means there's a lot of people invading right there. But I'll show you that the next time I teleport in and out. But to finish the rest of this storyline, Yuria, this guy, who's Yol, he's dead already. He's been dead for a long time. Yuria. Speak thy desire, honorable lord. Oh, good hollow. Orbeka Vinheim is a cause of much He proclaimeth himself Lord of Hollow. If left alone, fall to this indecisiveness. Our Lord, and knowest thou of a maid named Henri. Henri? She is hollow. A fellow of mine guides her at this moment. For what Lord take Ah, good tidy. Time is right to the girl. So she's her. saying that Henri's ready to marry me. She finally found Tell out that I'm a catch. Me and she wants to marry me so he's still not there there's really nothing else for you to do right here that's all we needed to do was talk to her 
Should probably level up. Well, 71,000 souls. Then. That's a lot of souls to be just carrying around. So, we'll do vitality to 20. I can level up one more time. I'll do... Dexterity. That doesn't boost much. Goes up 30. I'll just do dexterity. Might as well. It's not a big deal. At that point, oh, that one is kind of pointless, but... 2,000 extra souls. I didn't get a bone shard. See, I check every time. Yeah, see, these little symbols right here. So that means if you were to teleport right here and you're embered, there is a really high chance that somebody's going to be out for your giblets and is going to want to kill you. I uh, probably should have shown you all the shortcut, and I will actually do that. Even though it'll take a little more time than you want, it will. I just want to show you guys exactly what we achieved through this episode. Even though this way is faster, you're going to teleport down, and then it's right there. I just want to show you guys exactly why we want to open up the shortcut. I can still get invaded. Just remember that. If I get invaded, I'm probably not going to win this time. I do not win a lot of invasions because people will purposefully underlevel their character, but they are just masters of the game. They have all the best weapons. Tears of Denial this. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Okay, so what we did is we opened up this little elevator right here when we killed the Mimic and killed that little crystal wizard. We opened up this elevator so we don't have to run all the way over there. Just like any elevator, as soon as that button pops up, you run across it, run off, and now it's ready for when you die again, not if you die again, because this spot sucks for getting invaded. I'm gonna dodge all these fireballs. I'm not that good at it anyway. This is that gate that you opened up. Uh oh. That better be because I'm climbing the ladder. See how it's all darked out? Okay, so I'm not getting invaded. That is definitely a plus. Um let me fight these guys really quick. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna scavenge an Orlando. If I get invaded, so be it. No, don't be that guy who buffs up before they just hit me. Do that. I tried to dodge away. Just no gank, gank fight. If I've ever seen one, dodge back. You will be hit by sorcerers. Oh, not even sorcerers. I'm not getting invaded, am I? I'm not getting invaded. It's just a giant who's trying to kill me now. So, like I forgot, you're supposed to kill those guys so they don't shoot fireballs while you're fighting these guys. You want to bring them indoors. It's a lot warmer in here anyways. Keep checking that to make sure it's not darked out. Yeah, he's almost dead. Okay, he's dead. You want to take one at a time. Still not being invaded. Nope. These guys are not difficult by any means. They just, they will attack you, and then you'll get invaded, and then you'll get fireballs shot at you. I honestly want to go and kill those guys, but I just want to show you guys what you're missing for loot out here. You can kill these giants all you want. I don't think they are useful whatsoever. I think they give you large titanite shards. So I mean, if you're really low on those, feel free to fight them. There's this guy right here. I don't know, let's see how much damage we do. killed those sorcerers and then I could have shown you guys how to do that. I'm not being invaded so it's not like I'm in such a rush but yeah I'm not going to keep getting smacked by those guys. There's an invisible wall right here. Don't just fall down because look at that fall. This spot is definitely optional. You don't have to go down here. I would recommend going down here only because there is a covenant so it's an achievement for you achievement hunters, but that big bad wolf that we fought earlier, you have to fight two of them. Come right here, just right here, just to the little corner. You'll get this guy all pissed off. I personally use a green blossom, because you're going to be using a lot of stamina. I haven't built up my sword at all, my shield at all. Oh, here we go. That's a really good attack to take advantage of. Oh, Ooh, okay. Do it again. Do it again. 
Yeah, I love when they do it twice. Oh, if he grabs you, yep, like that, like that, I'm gonna die. I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, oh, tears of denial, y'all. Tears of denial, tears of denial, and I died. <laughs> uh, but that tears of denial, if he didn't hit me on that and I was able to heal right there, that would have given me a second wind and I could have possibly gone through and killed him. But I did not do that. Uh, these guys are definitely worth fighting, but now we can go through here. The reason I am not embering right now is because if you ember right now, you increase your chances of being attacked by online players. Yes, you have more health. It's not worth that extra 20% of health that you get. Uh, if you don't want these guys shooting fireballs at you and you want to kill those giants, I'll show you right now this is how you do it. Once you've killed everything, it gives you all your health back. Jeez. Oh, I knew. Oh. There's just so many fireballs. It's honestly so much <laughs> He's dead. I'm not healing, even though I should, is because I am about to ember. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to heal because I missed those two hits. That is the worst part of this game. Ooh, ooh, Try to hit me now. Yep, now you're dead. So now we can go fight those giants if you really wanted to. These guys all have a chance to drop a Covenant item. If you're trying to do the Covenant, you know what you're looking for. I don't care to fight them. I'm not going to risk my life trying to fight. I mean, they're not going to be difficult to fight, but I already died. I'm just making up time at this point. Come all the way down here. I'm going to Ember because I want to make sure I'm at maximum health. I didn't, I made a rookie mistake. I should have done this earlier, because I'll most likely use it on this first guy. But it's okay. Gonna use this. You don't want to rush at him, because then he will see you. And if you think you're gonna fight both of them, the best players of Dark Souls are gonna fight them. health guys that grab attack he did against me Ooh! do it again he didn't do it again oh double dead. double dodge cool killed one that is boss number one down it's not even a boss just so you guys know human dregs are the covenant item that you're looking for Dodge! Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed both of those dodges. Don't hit like I did. I'm use this advantage to heal. Yeah. My uh, stamina went away. The fact that he didn't hit me was luck, y'all. It was literally uh, luck. Oh my gosh. Run behind that pillar if you need quick health. Missed. No! Oh! That would have killed me. That would have killed me. I just want to point that out right now. That's what that Tears of Denial saved me from. Dang. Oh, here we go. Boom! He's dead. Oh, he's not dead? Oh, he's dead. I'm just letting y'all know that Tears of Denial spell that I told you about just saved my life. It literally just saved my life. And now you get this useless bonfire. If you're going to do the uh, Covenant, it's a good bonfire. But if you're not going to do the Covenant, if you're going to wait till you've 100% of the game and you just need this Covenant left, that's the only thing. I mean, the Ring of Favor that I just got 
boosts your HP, boosts your stamina, and boosts your maximum equip load. So if you want to carry heavier items, that's your equip load. If you want faster or longer stamina, you have stamina. If you want more HP, it is 57 more HP. That sounds like a lot, but really, <laughs> it's not. There are better rings that will help you out with that, but... Pray to him, ask to join this covenant, and if you haven't already got this achievement, right now you'll get this achievement. But honestly, you have to do that person who invaded me at the beginning at the beginning of this uh, episode. Yeah, that guy was trying to get every time you kill one, you get one, and you have to get thirty for him. So I think your odds, especially with how old this game is, are better off with if you just even though they're like a 2% chance of dropping. Okay. So we're almost done with the Norlando. There's a couple more things we need to do first. A. Tears of Denial. No reason actually now that I think about it. We need to go down there. Which, there is an invisible bri bridge right there, which I will show you right now. Once you've called the elevator up and it's all the way up here... You run all the way down, and you're going to be like, oh, that's a cool little structure right there, but why is there a bonfire? Look at this. Why would they put this in the game? Don't ask me, but it's in the game. Boom. Bonfire. It's not like this is a whole elaborate area with a bunch of enemies. There's literally no enemies. But you'll talk to Priscilla. I am Yorshka. Oh, what? Yorshka. The offspring or sister whatever you want to think for the lore Thou of thinks Priscilla too very well I will grant thee purpose and you'll get an achievement right here thou journeyed far if thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of father Gwyn and sister Guinevere a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lord then I place okay, thee so that's under the daughter the of Gwyn. okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Thou art now a blade of the dark moon, the only knight of our cup. Swear this oath. Thanks for that. Thanks for the achievement. If oh, you didn't already if get I it. can provide. That's when you'll give her the proof of Concord Long Cap, now, and she gives Ed. you. Off so soon. May the uh, quest items. Definitely look that up on Wikipedia. Uh, here's the first use, in my opinion, of that silver serpent or silver cat ring. So, from here, you're going to do a lot of falling. It's like Dark Souls 2 right here. You're just going to keep taking your time. Oh, oh no. Okay, cool. I forgot about that. Painting Guardian's Curved Sword. One of the highest DPS weapons in Dark Souls 1. In case y'all were wondering. Fall down here. Painting Guardian set. Yeah, Painting Guardian set. You're going to want to come right here. Drop down. Nothing else you can pick up on this floor. Don't have to dodge. I was just being better safe than sorry. Okay, I'm going to walk off. This is a very patient area. I don't think there's anything else, honestly. At this point, you can fall all the way down and die, but if you notice, I took zero health. Because of that ring. Cool. And we're back down here. That's the only reason I never went up that staircase. There's nothing there. Unless you were to come from that little secret area. But, now that we're done with that, we're going to go to an Orlando, and we are going to fight... Oh, no, we forgot one more thing, actually. One more thing before we fight Aldrich. If you did the good ending of Henri, I will show you exactly what you're missing. Uh, we're doing the bad ending, because we're going to... We're trying to be the Lord of Hollows. So, we are all hollow, and if you want to be the king of all the hollows, this is the ending we're doing with uh, Uria of Londor and Yol of Londor. Oh, wrong side. You're going to call this back down. Don't worry, we're going to undead bone shard to save a lot of time, because I'm not going to waste five minutes of your life. Come down here. The reason I'm spawning from here and not over there, first of all, is faster. Second of all, can't get invaded when you're up there. So now that we went back to Firelink Shrine, 
Now you'll see him back here. What's up, Yol? Welcome. Well, that's not Yol. Spout, please. May you be. So she's gonna give us the sword of a vowel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your spouse. My spouse awaits me. Someone wants to marry me. Oh my goodness. That's Dark Souls 1 character. Not going to go into all that lore. I am going to do a Dark Souls 1 playthrough for the future. But for now, we're just going to kind of run through here. And Henri, unfortunately, this is the bad ending because that's our girl. That's Henri. That makes me so sad that this is the ending for her. I didn't want to do this, but because I dragged you guys to do all the killing yourself for Yol of Londor and doing Uria of Londor, we want to get her sword and we want to be the Lord of Hollows ending. That's what we're going for. This is why we're doing this. I only do it once and it's always my first playthrough. And then after this, I make sure that she lives. I want to make sure she kills Aldrich. She has a personal vendetta against him. And yes, I'm going to kill him for her. I just want her to see the light just drain from his eyes. Okay, now we have more dark sigils. Great. So instead of running all the way back, we're just going to homeward bump. Like I said, I'm not here to waste your time, but I'm here to show you all the side quests. And as far as we've gone, yeah, we're pretty much done with all the side quests. I hope you guys know. There's one more really big one, and then there's one to where we just have to keep teleporting. Just heal now. Tears of denial. I need to kill him fast. Oh no! Oh, he's one hit kill. I hate when they're one hit kill like that. But, yes! Kill him. Oof. I'm gonna try to get a really good backstab with him. Nope. Ooh. Nope. That's a good one. There. Dunzo. Titan Knight Shard. Shard. If you're trying to do the Covenant, you can just keep fighting those two guys over and over and over and over again. Probably take you, I'm not even exaggerating, if you want to go from where we're at to completely finishing the Covenant, it will take you about two hours. Two entire hours of your life spawning at that bonfire, killing those two knights, and resetting for two hours straight. That's what you will be doing. But... I have done that. I will not be doing the covenants. That is on you guys if you want to do them. Uh, you can definitely look them up and see what the rewards are and see if they are worth going for. For this covenant and my build, I don't think it's necessary. The only one that I think is really worth it is the Wolf's Sword Grass, which is in Farron Keep. But honestly, there's a there's an easy quest. You have to reallocate your entire higher stats towards luck just to make it worth just so that you don't have to spend as long farming but every covenant i've probably farmed at least two hours for because i do not do pvp this is a dark souls one guy you can usually go back here and there's a chest right here for the uh bow ring i forget what it's called but the giant's coal we need that so we can give that to the other giant God, what is that bow ring called? I'm going to be so mad at myself if I can't think of it. But anyways, this is the exact same spot as we were in Dark Souls 1. If you all want to know what's over here, there is nothing there. I mean, yes, they do have a ring, but I wonder if I can smack them. No, I can't lock on, so I can't smack them down. But yeah, he's going to jump on our heads. If you didn't run all the way over here, which there's nothing over here. Even in New Game Plus, you'll never do what I just did. I just wanted to show you guys. Usually you can walk down this corridor in Dark Souls 1, but that's not in this game. Moonlight Arrows. That's actually kind of cool. That is in Dark Souls 1. You're going to grab this chest while you can. S to shard. No, you can heal 
12 times? 13 times? Oh, hello, buddy. This guy is dangerous to fight when you have them shooting those at you. You want to use this lever so that'll open the big door. That's the shortcut. You want to try to bring him over here. Still get an arrow shot at you, Jesus. Come over here. Just come over here, please. Because if you think you're about to do a big combo against him, oh god. If he hits me one more time, I'll have death blight. Ooh, we. <sighs> so I have those guys shooting arrows at me. So if you did Henri's. Oh, you can come out here? Heck yeah! Ooh! Not heck yeah! Ooh. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do really quick, really quick. Uh, where is it? Oh, I can't see it. I don't know why. Oh, don't come at me. Okay. I can take my time. Uh, that is frost buildup. Poison, poison. I don't have it. So it's a puff that allows you to lose your death buildup. I thought we had one of those. But no, we don't. Okay. Anyways, we're at halfway. Did you disappear? Did you just sprint back from speed? Where did you come from? Oh, 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 oh! Boom! Okay. Give me that ring. Aldrich's ruby. Let me kill him. He really ran. Put his Nike shoes on. So, recovers HP from critical attacks. So if you do a backstab, or you do a uh, parry, or a repost, whatever, uh... You'll get HP recovered from it. Not useful. Sorry to uh, break the bad news to you, but not useful whatsoever. Just so y'all know, that uh, Deacon ran from there all the way over there. I don't get why he did that. I don't think I've ever seen that. Alright. Let's hope that this guy takes no more than two attempts. Hey! <laughs> Okay, this boss is fun. We're going to use that so that we take less damage from magic, because all he does is magic. All he does is magic. I swear to you. Get away from that. That attack, he teleports away, but it hurts you. And he goes towards the opposite side of the map. His butt. When in doubt, aim for the booty. Oh no, don't hit me. Oh, he's doing his attack. Get away. So, teleports on the opposite side. So, if you're closer to over here, he'll teleport over there. But he'll break your ankles sometimes like that. Don't do your arrow attack. His arrow attack hurts. I'll show you his arrow attack. Always uses his attack. Okay, he's teleporting. Get away from there. Damage. So ideally, he will spawn over here. Perfect. Still no arrow attack, guys. We are getting lucky. I really don't want to just rush through Aldrich. I really don't. We are making a paper. I can see that I still have my silver cat ring on. <laughs> I don't. Oh, yep, yeah, that hit me. It's okay. It's okay. We're still doing good. It should spawn over there. Do your arrow attack. I don't want you to. Because it's all oh, life drain, so he heals a little bit. Okay, running away. Gonna heal. I still have my silver cat ring. The reason I knew that is because if you look on the top left corner, there's a symbol of a cat. Here we go. Okay. If he does that attack, you run away. You don't even think. You run. <laughs> you run as fast as you can. Because if this catches up to you, which those. Uh, I kind of want to die from him, but if you guys ever watch any gameplay of all Witch, thanks for taking your health, you will notice that that takes all your health away. Most people usually get insta-killed by that attack. He didn't spawn there. He didn't spawn. Where is he? There he is. Okay. The reason that I rush towards him is because if you're far away from him, he does that arrow attack. You do not want him to do that arrow attack. So, if 
if he's here and he disappears, he should spawn over there, ideally. Yep. The faster you run over there, the lower of a chance he will use that arrow attack on you. And look at that. Easy cake of all bridge. I have a nickname for him that I won't use, but... Cake. Easy. We're gonna watch this, so... It, it, it lights the bonfire for you, don't worry. If you try to, even though you didn't rest at it, it will light that bonfire for you. So don't worry about that. Okay, so she's going to teleport you to a known location. You should know exactly what this place is from the very second episode of this channel. Jeebus, it's taken a while. Here we go. We're not going to talk to her yet. We have 120,000 souls. We are definitely going back to the shrine. We are not messing with luck right now. Even though I think this next boss is cake. We're not we're not rolling the dice. Okay. We will get the souls from her, but first, I don't think I grabbed any ashes. I did the Easterner's ashes. I only have Okay, I'm gonna buy that just because why not? It's ten souls. Why wouldn't you, you know? Uh, you can buy unlimited of these now. Up to you. Uh, you can buy unlimited of those. Unlimited of those. The, this is why you get all these ashes. And you can look up all the ash locations. They're very useful. Now you can buy Smoff or Smo, however you want to pronounce it. You can buy his armor. You can buy the Easterner's armor and the Helm of Favor. Dark Souls 1 character. Uh, we have a bunch of armor sets we can acquire now. We're not going to acquire because we don't need them. Great Rat still isn't back. Why is it? I think he comes back once we uh, defeat this next boss. Almost positive. He has a coal we can give him. This is the guy from Dark Souls 1. He was our blacksmith in Orlando. So it's kind of sad that he died. But now our infusements can have chaos. Ooh, I think. So I'm going to show you guys as an example. The Lothric Straight Sword. Uh, I need chunks, so it's okay. Lothric Straight Sword, I'll throw into plus six as well. I will go to this Lothric Straight Sword and I will give him a, 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 thr a Shriving Stone. So now it does not have fire. It is no longer a fire sword. You can put another one on, use another Shriving Stone, get it out of there. I always, every single time, use Chaos. And if you look in the bottom right, you can see it moves Intelligence and Faith into A Scaling. If you're new to the game, that will mean nothing to you. But when I reallocate my staff or stats, I am Pretty always a sorcerer. Kind of Every single time I play, I go into sorcery. Um, I will always use that. That is my go-to sword. It does just as good as this. Just as good, if not better, than this. And it's fire. And... You can use spells and whatnot, which I'm not doing right now, but you can use spells. Why does it look like he's gone? That's kind of scary. Huh, he's gone. That makes me nervous for that side quest. But for now, let me just show you what um, you can transpose for souls. Uh, there's no other side quests. Uh, Sigurd's already done. Um, Patches is already done. If you're trying to 100% their quests, there you go. Oh, That's the end of theirs. Let's see, Crystal Sage, Deacons, the old Demon King that we fought down in uh, the lake. Uh, that's good for Pyromancy. It's actually really good for Pyromancy, but we're not Pyromancers, so we're not going to use that. The Stray Demon, another Pyromancy. Wolnir, another Pyromancy. So <laughs> if you're a Pyromancer, this playthrough pretty much to taught you almost every Pyromancy. Uh, the Stray Demon. I think I just showed the Stray Demon can give you that Pyromancy, or it can give you this ring. I am going to equip this ring, because I'm not going to do Pyromancy. You can always go through your next get, uh, playthrough and get that. Anything else on here, not really worth it right now. At least right now. 
Um, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to level up. Let me uh, change that. I don't know why I still had that cat ring on. I am going to equip that Havel's ring so I can wear heavier armor. I want to see if I can wear this full armor. I know it looks silly, but let's see if we can hold it. Yep, so now I can equip this whole armor. So whenever I jump into people like that, it will do a lot of damage. and Not a lot, but it increases their bleed damage. So if I'm using a bleed weapon, it will help me boost that all the way up. But for now, you can walk into them. You just can't roll into them, just for reference. Uh, I think we will increase dexterity to 30. Boom. We're going to increase this sword. We're maximizing this OP sword, y'all. Even though we got this. Uh, I'm pretty sure I gave him that scroll. There's nothing else you can do with the Pyromancer. You've given him everything. Yeah, oh my God. he's already got his soul. Or scrolls. The last thing we need to do is give her, Arena, the Braille Tomes. Which, there's one more. The light Braille Tome to give her. None of that. I, oh. <laughs> I got an Estus shard, didn't I? And I just forgot to give it to him. Yep. Now, I'm going to be a little spicy just so I can help everyone out, okay, not just your dex builds. So, I've always had, if you press down, that's all I've had in my Estus flask. Now, I'm going to start having my Ashen Estus flask down there so I can sw switch between gold and blue. See? You'll probably be doing that anyways. We already fought Aldrich. So now from Aldrich, we have to fight the Dancer, which is all the way back here. I'm not even kidding. Ford. We're going to teleport there. But the reason I'm doing that is I will show you in the long run what that does. Um, from here, we just need to fight the Dancer. We've gotten everything done. I believe I've already looted everything in here in Chapter 2. Uh, so, if you guys want to farm for this Lothric sword, I don't have in my hand. I don't know why I swapped. And I didn't use my tears, but hey, say you use your tears. Eschen Estus. Boom, it's all the way up. Now you can use your tears again. No. So, if you guys want to be like me and use the, uh, Chaos Lothric sword, or just a Lothric sword, however you want to infuse it, these guys drop it. Oh my gosh, one hit kill? One hit kill these guys are now. Lothric Knight Gauntlets. Guys, look at how easy they are now. <laughs> this is Dark Soul. Lothric, oh my gosh, I could be a Lothric Knight now. I can't believe those odds. Lothric, I don't think I have anything else Lothric. No, I don't have the armor piece. Don't have that. Wait, is the Lothric down? Oh, the Lothric's down here. Oops. I have the Lothric gauntlets. I do not have the Lothric armor. So I have all of... I am a Lothric knight. That's actually... I actually kind of look cool. That drip is on point. But... Guys. Guys. Remember when we struggled? One hit kill. And you know what we use? We are using a dagger. A dagger you spend 500 souls on with the handmaiden the reason it's so good if you look at its critical damage right in the middle under attack power it's at 130 almost everything else will be at 100 see nothing is even 110 130 attack power so if you want to be spicy I'm probably gonna miss this because obviously I'm doing a video so it won't work out in my favor but <laughs> I still got that, though. Booyah. That guy who tore us a new one. Oh, aw. Uh, I didn't get the chest piece. But that was actually really rare. And they drop you a bunch of souls. So from here, if you fought the sword master and you didn't... I don't know if because I killed the sword master after... Oh, yeah. I killed the sword master after. Okay. Let me just be sure. I don't want to feel silly. I am embered. Yep. 
you'll see the Swordmasters things. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm wrong. I'm talking about a future boss, which will be coming up pretty soon here. Um, but if you want to use the Swordmaster to fight this boss, so at the very end, in chapter two, when you come over here and she gives you the banner, if you want to skip every episode in between then and here, you can go up to her and then just kill her and it will start this boss fight. You can do this boss fight as early as chapter two, but it will mess you up. Prince Lothric is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, Please yeah. Save I'll save his soul. his soul. Don't worry. Tell him what he must be a lord. If y'all are wondering, I tried to skip that. It wouldn't let me. This is a good interaction. That's actually a pretty cool armor. That's never a good sign in the Souls series. When something closes you into a little arena, <laughs> you gear up. Especially when you see that. Well, I guess you have to be prepared to die. Okay. Oh, I thought I dodged that. Oh, I dodged right into that. Alright, so I'm just using a dagger, folks. Just so y'all know, I'm using just a dagger. I knew what it was going to do, though. Ooh! Okay, okay. It's all good. It's all good. I'm not, I'm not stressing. Let me switch to the... OP sh... Ooh! Look at that damage. I didn't mind trading. She's about to go into second form. Oh, she didn't yet. Ooh, wee. See how I'm just trading? Like... I could be doing a strategy, but she's going to go into the second stage. You want to hide behind these numbers. Yep, she's done. Alright, halfway dead already. The My main strategy for fighting Dark Souls bosses in Dark Souls 3 is be aggressive. Run back when you need to heal, but don't stay back. That attack will hit you from far away. Oh, I didn't know there was a second one. I'm a noob. Woo! If I would have dodged that second hit, I would have been good. Ooh! I thought there was a second hit. Ooh! 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 <laughs> Don't do your spinning attack, and she's doing her spin. Let her get that out of her system. If you noticed, I was shielding up a little bit because she can take you to those barriers. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Shielded! I would rather take some stamina damage than health damage. Run away. I have five health, so I'm confident, but. I was gonna smack, but greedy. Just letting you know this is all greed. And she's dead. But that's what greed gets you. Oh, gets your results. Make sure I have that ring equipped. And the door opens up again. 79,000 souls. Just so y'all know, that is why you want that shield of want and that ring with you. Because you probably would have only gotten like 51,000, 52,000, something like that. Get an extra 20 some odd thousand souls just by having those two things in your inventory that you, in your first playthrough you probably won't need any other 
supplemental uh, ring or shield on. This is a really good shield. I'm surprised I haven't leveled it up yet. So that's open. We're going to light this bonfire. And I think we're going to call it on this episode. We will run through Lothric Castle in the next episode. Uh, there's a lot to cover there. We're going to do a... Uh, you know, I think I'll do Untended Graves. No, the next episode is going to be a long episode. Just warning you guys. Uh, we're going to go and do a side boss. We're going to go do uh, a secret area that will be really, really useful from here on out, even in your next playthroughs. Uh, and then I think we will probably get to the Grand Archives and call it there, but that's going there's a lot to uncover in this castle this is the late game now we are fighting pretty much the second to last boss yes this is the second to last boss not including the secret bosses we only have to fight one more boss and then we are up against the lord of cinder and we won't once we beat the lord of cinder we will go straight into the dlcs and go through all that which will be a couple more each dlc might be one or two episodes each because i do want to uncover everything there is to know about that but uh yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see y'all in the next episode